Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our permadeath run of Hamza, Cursed One of the Bella. We are running as always the two-handed or as always is wrong as in the last uh, few sessions we are running that two-hand heavy armor build with a splash of illusion magic hamza has the ability to send others into the lucid realm of dreams in between sessions i made it to markath uh, matter of fact right over here where the temple of Dibella is located and so far we had a problem to start the quest of the Bella because uh, the way that uh, this quest works is you need to get through that expert door uh, which either happens by stealing uh, the key from her or by lockpicking the door. Now without perks you can't do either. Requiem made it absolutely impossible to pickpocket or open any locks if you're not perked into it. So since we didn't want to uh, start uh, with uh, putting perks in it what we got ourselves is the so-called master key those are purchasable uh, by literally anyone uh, it uh, a smith this one here costs around 800 gold pieces so as you can uh, see we're pretty broke got a few more grand in, uh, in our uh, hidden stash but other than that uh, we invested all of the money and that will be enough to let us enter the sanctum and with that hopefully start the quest so we are going to be spotted out and of course the priestesses are not just communing with uh, Debella They're, they don't like to be interrupted at all period stay where you are the mother will deal with you Here she is. And just what do you think you're doing? Unfortunately for you, we don't allow men into the inner sanctum. You have committed a breach and must pay the penalty. What is the penalty? Normally, a quick death. Luckily for you, there are more pressing matters. We could make an example of you, but perhaps you could be put to better use. What use is that? You so rudely interrupted was the exalted protocol of the Debellan Sybil. I don't expect you to know what that means. Suffice to say that our Sybil was recently lost to us. Through the protocol, we have seen the home of the next Sybil, to the north in a small village pressed against the stone. If you can travel there and retrieve our young Sybil, your transgression will be forgiven. We believe the place I will undertake it. Karth Waston. Now move quickly. The girl must be brought to the temple as soon as possible. Have you heard of the blessing of Debella? Or give you strength if you happen to offend one? Typically, we avoid bestowing it upon men, but for the Sybil's escort, we could make an exception. The Sybil of from the time Good, so she explains the Sybil is essentially the next Sibyl, big thing for her. To the north. She it's considered a great honor. We prefer not to announce that the Sybil has died until we can introduce the new one. People like to know that we're connected to the goddess. Good, can I get the blessing of my queen here? That's the statue that we were supposed to steal. But yeah, we're not going to do that. It feels uh, wrong to steal from our goddess. Ooh, although there are quite a few valuables, and I also don't want to lose our blessing. We already stole a few things, and uh, the blessing of uh, Dibella. You do have a very limited amount of uh, items that you can steal free, and afterwards she rewokes uh, the blessing, just like any of the good gods, so to speak. Inner Sanctum is now open. We cracked that one, which is good. And I show you where we're going. And we'll explain a little bit of what we're doing because I came prepared, believe it or not, for once. Heart of the Bella should be right here, yeah. In Korth Waston, where we are going to fight Forsworn. And this time I 
indeed came prepared so I did a bit of a shopping uh, tour invested some of our other money which is why we're broke into a big fat peerless poison resistance necklace where we would get our minus 19 poison resistance to plus 30 add to that a little potion that I uh, was able to obtain uh, we got some resist here, which is irrelevant. Where is the potion of poison? Am I blind? Oh, here. Resist poison. 50% poison effects for 300 seconds. So we should... I haven't tested it because I didn't want to waste the potion, but we should get up to 80% uh, poison resistance, which would be fantastic. Good. Off we go, see you at the Forsworn Lock. Well, maybe we just ran into a bit of a fight here. The Silverbloods have made you a very generous offer for this pile of dirt. I suggest you take it. If the Forsworn... Probably with the mine. ...what it is, the Silverbloods are trying to muscle in on my land. Forsworn attacked the mines, and suddenly all these cell swords show... What if I convince them to leave? But I'd keep your sword arm ready if things get ugly. Oh my. You'll want to talk to Enmon about that. Farewell. Okay, cool. Good. So let's prepare and uh, buff up for the Silver Swarm. Need to prepare for the Four Swarm later, anyways. Bit of potato soup. Right, pretty sure that this is not going to go out well. Everything else well, hey, damn it, man! Are you trying to taunt our daughter, Theotra? It was the Forsworn from Broken Tower. Never been much trouble. She really? Well, that's a. I wouldn't have dreamed. Of course, we need her in Markarth then. <laughs> Shall I take Enman with us? Nah, you should stay. That's what any good adventurer would say. Just hurry, please. Who knows what those things are doing to her? Good. Before we go, though, I figured I wanted to convince this guy to at least give up uh, the mine. I've got the feeling that this is going to go sideways really, really quickly. But yeah, a bit of uh, comedy experience in between. Just to warm up for today's uh, quest is not a bad idea. Oh yeah, Silver Blood Mercenary, couple two of two hand fighters, that's going to be great. The mine is closed. Helping out Ina Thatch, huh? Dealing with a mob wouldn't be good for my coin purse. Fine. We're leaving. Forsworn attacked a while back. Well, the persuasion check made that surprisingly easy. Good, off we go, and I'll hand in the quest when we see each other with a Force One. Fantastic, we are at the location. I buffed up. The only thing that I have not immediately used is a tonic of poison resistance. To see how well we're doing without it uh, seems about okay, but we're still taking quite a bit of damage. You won't live to see tomorrow. Yeah, so let's try it with uh, the resist poison on. Which gives us an adequate 80% poison resistance. Alright, much better. Cool. So far, so good.
And as always, the Forsworn have a lot of potions. And our healing is still not on par with what I would be expecting. Good. At least the rights are giving us some of uh, the options back in a dungeon. Funeral rights, that is. It's not perfect, but it is okay. I got some simple forms of magical re uh, regeneration via uh, flowers. Got to use our uh, the timer on our potion with 80 poison resistance. We are a force to be reckoned with. I want to use that to our advantage. The dungeon itself is not easy, though. Good, I'll loot the guys a bit later. For now, it's move, 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 move. Careful here. There is a trap. There? Oh yeah, there is someone here. I knew it. Ah! Oh, wrong direction. My bad. We need to get up there. And by up there, I mean right up there. Poison resistance is still going. Being a werewolf certainly did not pay out in the poison resistance department. Makes it even worse to fight against these guys. Normally, kind of a peerless amulet itself would give you sufficient protection because... Um, oh, wait a second. Saiken, why did you forget one of your most important spells? You now got enhanced constitution. Am I missing something? There was a staircase up, wasn't there? Man, I missed that door like twice. How stupid. Okay, these are all entrances from the outside, and now we're going upstairs. Easy pickings. Oh wow, she just walked right into it. <laughs> that was stupid. Good, we got 110 poison resistance, so even with poison reduction we should be fine.
And there is a hack at the end, if I'm not mistaken. So better be safe than sorry, resist magic potion. Oh, there we go. Just in time. The magic resist just wore, uh, wore off. But we don't want to step into that thing. Healing ourselves up to con uh, save some consumables, and that is her. One of them? Please don't hurt. Then it's through what they said. I I've heard so, but I never. I am honored to be called for this duty. Please lead on. Yeah, I will lead on, but don't step on that uh, trap, please. Good, from here, all we need to do is uh, loot uh, the dungeon properly. I'll do that in a second, deliver her, and uh, then we will finally get our blessing. Good, guess who's back with a girl? Damn right, it's me. Time to trade in the quest and finally get our blessing. The blessing of Debella in Requiem 3 BF Tweaks is a fantastic buff. It prevents all falling damage, which is just abnormally good. Specifically in a permadeath run, I love that blessing. Speak. You, you, I will send word to a family that she is in good hands. You've truly earned the blessing of Debella, child. Prostrate yourself before her altar, and she will bestow her gift. Now, come with me, child. Good. Time to get the blessing. We're still not cool with uh, them. We cannot get the temple gift. That's unfortunate. There were so many good items. Right, finally. Cool. Agent of the Bella. You do more combat damage against the opposing sex, and I think we are completely immune to fall damage. I know that this blessing is why a lot of people play female characters. I personally am not enjoying that too much, but each to their own, I suppose. So let's see. No falling damage. Okay, let's try a little bit higher. Good, no falling damage either. And this certainly would have falling damage. No falling damage as at all. Fantastic, it works. Love it. Good. So character building wise, we uh, have now kind of entered an area where I would want to get the next shout um, because we cannot really disarm. The problem is with disarm, the next two shouts are increasingly more difficult to get. One is behind a dragon that we will need to fight. Uh, which I'm contemplating of actually doing. And the other one is behind a dragon priest. That's not going to happen in this playthrough. At least not before we finish uh, the um, companion quest. So what I would suggest uh, we are doing is we're going to go and do one more quest for the companions, uh, progress the storyline a little bit. And then I want to also... Or, Let's actually become agent of Mara first. Mara uh, is another one of uh, these uh, um, uh, patrons. And the agent of Mara quest gives you, I think, five uh, magic resistance flat. It's a permanent uh, buff. Since we're currently at 14, that 
uh, may make sense. So I'll show you how it's done and I'll just uh, skip over the unnecessary parts. We're just breezing through the quest. So for starters, we're going to go and to Riften more precisely to the Temple of Mara right here. And we're going to start the storyline. Then we're talking to Ginger Blue and uh, ask her if we can receive the blessing. She will essentially tell us that we need to join a couple of lovers. And the first one. So we're now going to go to do the Book of Love. Uh, besides also trekking on Earth, because I'm still waiting for the messenger uh, to progress of that. It's going to be for our armor. So. Uh, back to the Mara quest, the first uh, location that we need to discover is actually in Verstad, and that's where I'm going to write right now. Got to go. Of course. We just arrived, and as I was speaking about Rallus, uh, we got a letter from him. So, after that stage of the quest, we will need to do a little break and to go and help Rallus again. So. What are we going to do with this quest? We need to reunite two of the the initial lovers here. And we're starting with Felstead Farm, which is kind of the Can first of you? three pairs that we need to reunite. Are you the one sent by Mara? My parents are being a Bassi, the only my mother's not any help either. I'll talk oh, to your parents. You so it's wonderful to have who are conveniently sitting parents. right next to you. My daughter. I'm sure I know. She thinks she's a. Let me tell you how. Until a few. They don't want her to run away uh, with her lover. Look around. Used to be. If all the young people leave, what happens? You know how. And like always, a little push, and this would all be some. They call it the path to the monastery to you seven thousand another... steps. No, I don't tell my. Even if it means if they just snuck out of town together, Marciana. Good. Knew that I let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. So now I need to talk sure, to Bassianus, uh, who is her lover, the fisherman, who is a bit confused because all he thinks about is fishing. I tell that dedication. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar, about to make a delivery up there myself. Oh, Fastred. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands. What did you call me? I mean, what you should you be both. I should just tell her. Yes. Beard, you're... Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Rothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the gray beards expecting some supplies? Okay, are they now? Are they now mingling together? Yes, no, maybe. Sir. Typically she's outside, but yeah, you get the gist, so he's running to her, they are starting to reunite, and everything should be a-okay. I don't want you to leave Iverstead. Why not? Because I would miss you. But I thought you only cared about your fishing. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Yep, run right into her. That's how it's done, buddy. He certainly has game. Good. We're going back to Riften, and then we're going to look into the excavation, because that's the next step. Let me just forward real quick. Okay, next step of the quest is Understone Keep in Margreth. And here we're talking with the person who is potentially... Best in love matters. I, you, I, I'm sorry. I, I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. I've been sent by Mara to aid you. Any help would come. Ah, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. That's the trouble. 
I know Feline from the keep, but I have no idea what sorts of things she likes. It's not a simple matter. I could offend her fairly easily by bringing up the wrong subject. I've seen it happen before. There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type, but they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. Good. He's basically uh, sending me to ask a chat about how to get uh, Eileen. Well, off we go. We're finding the Bart, and with that, hopefully, uh, we can progress it. Here we go with Invar. I've seen him at uh, multiple locations. He sleeps in the keep Outside. from time to time. What? Why? Are you interested? Calcimo, is he interested in Feline? That sly old codger. I should have guessed. Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. As for what she might like, I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Lorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? Sure. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. Fantastic. Time to deliver the poem. And Eileen, of course, isn't just anywhere, but she lives in solitude. Before we can get there, though, we need to talk to uh, Calcimo. Interesting, we don't need to talk to him, but to her. My memory served me well, but she typically used to be in uh, solitude. So I was actually planning for quite a bit uh, more travel charges. That makes it much more easy. Calcimo, what about him? What? You're out of your mind. That old coot's more interested in dead dwarves than anybody around here. Don't talk such rot. Please, stop wasting my time. You're embarrassing yourself. Igman's father was killed by Forsworn. Pardon me? It's from Kalsamo. I'm not sure what this is all about. This is lovely. Kalsamo wrote this? About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. Clearly, I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Good. Time to deliver her answer. With her being in the keep, this is so much easier. In all of my other playthroughs, she was in solitude. Study. What is it? This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please excuse me. What? Good. Normally, he now starts sprinting all the way to solitude, and that's just another travel. So I was booking. Uh, a thousand gold pieces just for the travel, but if we can get it for only the cart ride to, to here and back to Riften, that's even better. Well, 200 gold pieces for the poem, but still, 500 is a steal for 5 permanent magic resist. Pauline, I... Shh, it's alright. You don't need to say anything. I had no idea you were so nuanced. I love you. So I hear. Come here, you. Well, now they romantically just stand next to one another. Typically, they should actually kiss uh, kiss each other. But okay, back to Riften for our final assessment.
Here we go, ready to get the third assignment. Bids you welcomed. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. Very good. Put on the amulet of uh, Mara and then we're going to go exactly to, all to here. Right there. Uh, where we can talk to the long dead lovers. I'll see you there in a sec. The right here we meet Rookie. I'm searching for my Fenric. He was marching with you cause men who they say were wiped out here. I've turned over every body and I can't find him. Please help me look. He has a bright red beard and hair. Are you a fool? Look at the bodies around you. Even if you're blind, surely you can smell the blood. Come, help me search for Fenrir. He must be here somewhere. Good. Time to look for him. Henrik uh, indeed is right over there. Uh, Fenrik rather. Also, let's find him. Good. Got to be careful here. Uh, Fenrik and... Doesn't like Mammoth, apparently. Come on. The wife's looking for you. Let me fix that real quick. As always, violence was the option. We're expected to needed to kill home. some. Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it though. If she's come this far from home, it must be important. Lead on. I just need to report back to camp by sunrise. Very good. Where is Frost? Frost doesn't like battles at all. So as he should, he has abandoned me. I'll figure it out and we'll... Oh, there we go. We'll get uh, the soldier back to his beloved wife. Very good. Such a beautiful story. Okay, time to finish the quest. You welcome. Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. Carry the blessings of Mara with you so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. Fantastic. So, we just got the agent of Mara. Increased magnitude of healing spells that uh, target another creature by 20. Oh, did they change that? My child. 
Now we still got a few resist points. Look, we're at 18, so that's uh, five more than beforehand. Which means it was successful and there is a small healing effect on top of it. So I see 3BF Tweaks has changed it because it was uh, too good as a, a solo item. We're now going to Solstead. That's our next uh, destination because Unearthed uh, has its next stage. Here we go. All right, we, here we are. We have spoken uh, with our disciple, Kjolborn Barrow, uh, uh, is the dungeon. And of course, our prior mining expedition has been ambushed yet again. So, what are we going to do? Naturally, kill all of the Draugr. Miners are down again. already hear them well there we go even more of them coming positioning of myself fantastic good so that solves this problem uh, let's use the timer on this stronger first unnecessary to get hit overall okay for six droggers regenerate stamina just a tiny bit this guy is a bit more sturdy or not if he doesn't have his shield cool Compared to beforehand, the Draugrs are now dying easier. And we can take more hits, so that of course is helpful. I do not think that the shovel, uh, shovel was the right uh, pick here. I think we can't open Adept yet. And if my memory serves well, yep, we did not have a knock scroll. I don't think that will botch even at full health. Oh, I can already see where this is going. No, 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 no. All right, we got caught off guard. I was swarmed. Before we can even react. Uh, 
that should deal with uh, these two. We have a few more drogers down there. hit the guy unfortunately that did not work out as planned I wasn't remembering that that they would uh, immediately come from here so we've easily been trapped big fat mistake I went uh, for the Draugr I remember that this year created a couple of traps so gotta be careful you can already hear the shout in the background we just don't want to die to traps like like stupid idiots Alright, bring it on. That roger has found a trap for us. And as you can tell, it did like 600 points of damage. In case we're fighting one more of these fire traps, how about once we're healed up, how about we're just going for a resist fire? Not quite one shot territory, but it's also not helpful to just chuck through all of the potions. Alright, so just in case. That's unfortunately a resetting trap, and if my memory served me well, there were a couple of spears or. or darts. Yep, there we go. My memory served me well. again I want to be at full health traps can be quite level that's the perfect moment where you need mana like right now. to go fantastic
Got a lot of potions out of this one here. And the many small quests that we did in between. Yeah, that was highly trapped. I remember it as well. Maybe I'm wrong. My memory does not serve me well, but I thought there were spears coming out of the walls. I might have been wrong. Okay, well, that's a fantastic ring for a necromancer. Certainly not one for us. I thought uh, we already would get a second part of his... Oh yeah, okay, so that's the ring. Potentially don't need that. Conjuration spells, 12% cheaper. Magicka, 60 points, allows to keep you focused when running. 35 Magicka regenerate. Well, yeah, we're, I think we're going to take that ring. That's a straight up upgrade to our ring. Holy. Yeah, almost 300 Magicka. We can hear the shout uh, below us. And the magic regeneration, look at that, it's somewhat decent. So I need to see if I can get another surpassing magicka potion. Because we just used our only one that we had. But it was well worth it, because we got all of the Draugr. Should have anticipated that trap. It's been a while since I did the quest. And they changed a few things in uh, the FB tweaks. Any news? I should have figured. Damn. Well, I'm going to hide. Well, it's going to hit 3,000 this time, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm going to get the funds, but uh, to end the series here, let's level up. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot, and let's get a couple of uh, the major skills up. So Illusion goes up all the way to 60, actually. We do have greater points, so might as well start using them. 53 Illusion, that's good. In terms of warrior skills, what else do we need? Two handed is fine. Blocking might not be too bad. Heavy armor is already where it is supposed to be. Thief skills. You know, I mean, these would uh, grant us levels. So really the question now is do we want levels? Or do we want another skill to 50? I think I'll start with block because we might skill into block and it's actually a really solid skill. Smithing equally could be something that we're go uh, finding ourselves going into. Um, so yeah, block 50 is not wasted at all. I think we got ourselves like two levels. A bit more health because we're going to go for harder content and I think we indeed have two levels it's great illusion still requires a bit more to 60 which is our uh, next big milestone 
Restoration, on the other hand, 35% more mana to regeneration. That stacks multiplicatively. Oh, I should have leveled up. Uh, mm, yeah, we're... Next up, we're going to go for restoration instead of blocking. This is still fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And we got one perk to spare. Um, we do have three, maybe three more levels. We want uh, one more in Illusion, one more in Heavy Armor. Uh, this one up here. And we want one more in Restoration, which means we got we effectively got one to spare. And I'll put that into Enchanting so that we can finally start recharging our weapons. Not great, but... Uh, mm, Unless you're using mods, uh, you cannot recharge uh, your weapons. So, since I'm playing 3BF Tweaks, uh, that um, I've excluded all of the other mods. 3BF Tweaks is uh, sort of giving the baseline for balancing, so everything else would uh, mess with that. And uh, hence, I uh, focused on 3BF Tweaks only. So... For the normal uh, insights, what we're going to do next is Restoration to 50 to get that perk. Cool. We're going to get uh, Blocking to 50. And once uh, that is done, I think it's fair to up a couple of other skills. Speechcraft, for instance, would be one that I could think of. A uh, few of uh, these uh, skills, literally just to uh, get a bit better... Uh, at leveling so level 20 21 should be where we're ending uh, the companion quest and hopefully we're going to survive as long as it takes good i'll get uh, this quest started up and think about what we're doing in the next episode thanks for watching guys and see you bye bye oh before i forget it uh, if you want to enchant the like button, um, it only uh, uses a small, very, very small soul gem. Uh, make sure that you click on it uh, to charge the soul gem and then uh, the like button is enchanted for this video. Thanks and have a good one. Bye bye.